previous to getting that assignment, I was going to do a painting of a Johnny for myself to show the art directors that like, oh, I can, I can do some other kinds of work and I might as well do something that was interesting to me. And it just was so wild. I had been talking to Eric Deschamps about it. And like, I think he might have suggested just the idea of, why don't you do something to show them? And I would, that, that's the planeswalker I would always have picked. And then I get the assignment, and I was like, this is crazy. So, um, so that, that's the first interesting detail. The second one was that um, about halfway through the, the description was, um, it was interesting, but it was just so off. So my sketches, nothing was really hitting. So the art director was like, wait a minute, let me read this description again. And he said, no, this was all wrong and revised the whole thing. And that's how I was able to just kind of, kind of have the cool character with the planes in the background. That's all it really needed. And um, I was still kind of new to magic in the sense that like, I really didn't know all the stories and um, I had found that trying to piece together stories at the time was really difficult because um, they were kind of scattered between magazines, books, blog posts. So the, it was, the trying to get like the whole story was just all very difficult. So I didn't know that like a Johnny's weapon was like one big piece. I just thought, you know, they were two of them. So I had him, had one in the back and one in his hand. And the art doctor was like, uh, huh. Well, I, that could work. So um, that was something that I don't know if that 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 they added something to the story because of that, or I, I'm not really aware if if I like broke canon or added to it or not. Um, so that was another interesting detail for me. Uh, I was very nervous on that piece at the time. I wanted to do a painting of it. But I got so nervous, I, about halfway through, I, I went to my comfort zone at the time, which is a little more digital work, and finished it digitally. And then eventually went back and finished the painting based on the digital piece. But that was after it had been out for a while. Um, and one of the things that um, I, I found interesting about doing artwork uh, that had some nature in it <clears throat> along the way was the idea of just like adding more life to it. So I added a little critter in the bottom and that seemed to have, um, people seem to really like that if they can kind of see it. It's not hidden, it wasn't, it was never a, a hidden thing. It was just something fun in the grass. Um, so that's, uh, if you, if you didn't notice it, it's, it's, there's a little critter down there. It's always been one of my favorite little details.